Hey you guys, uh, here is a uh, gear layout, gear review uh, for my hike starting tomorrow, um, morning about 9 o'clock, about 16, 17 hours from now. Uh, it's still pretty awful as far as my skills go, so if you stick till the end, you, you, you need to, you know, you need therapy. So, uh, you know, watch, fast forward ahead, it's just basically the gear laid out and uh, how much stuff I'm taking. Uh, I don't know if I say at the end or not, but uh, uh, it's all packed up on my back and it'll be about 28 pounds to start off tomorrow. So uh, any comments you want to throw in, you know, tell me how awful I am, go ahead, I can take it. Uh, and any, uh, you know, I'm still learning this video editing. Uh, it's uh, not something I've ever done much of. Uh, at all. So, you know, uh, I'm one of those guys that uh, forgets most of my life when I've got a camera with me and I watch something that I should have taken a picture of and I forget. So uh, this is going to be a whole new experience for me. So uh, again, bear with me. Uh, appreciate uh, you guys that have subscribed. Uh, I'm surprised I got about 18 or 12, I don't know, 12 subscribers I think already. Uh, mostly close friends and families, but some of you NetJet guys, I appreciate uh, getting on here and uh, uh, seeing what I'm doing. All right, this is my backpack. It's a Z-Pax Art Blast. Uh, very lightweight. It's made of uh, Cuban fiber, what used to be called Cuban fiber. It's now called Dyneema. Uh, very tough, very strong, Suppose, should last me uh, well all the way to uh, Katahdin. Next up is part of my sleep system. This is my UGQ 20 degree down quilt. I have uh, done a lot of research between sleeping bags and quilts and this seems to be the latest way people, a lot of people are going. It's much lighter than most sleeping bags. Uh, because a sleeping bag has uh, is totally enclosed all the way around and the thing is you don't need to be laying on down because then it loses its warmth so a lighter weight way to go is with a quilt but uh, everybody has to hike their own hike and use uh, what what's comfortable for them I have used this in down into the 30s and it is very comfortable. Now not a whole lot to see here because it's rolled up and I'm going to be putting it in my pack here. The, I'm leaving first thing in the morning so I got to get all packed up tonight. But uh, this is the latest uh, Thermarest X-Lite sleeping pad. It's uh, the newest one that has four point, R4.2 insulation. So it should be plenty warm, especially when I get up in the Smokies, where the weather can get pretty nasty. Okay, here's uh, the rest of my sleep system. Uh, up on the left there, right there, is the Outdoor Research uh, long sleeve zip, half zip, or quarter zip, I'm sorry. Next to that is possum down gloves to keep my hands warm at night uh, if it's really cold. Coming down here is the uh, Patagonia Capoline quarter zip. Next to that is the Goose Feet Down booties. Kind of a, a, a giving in to wanting a little luxury item. They only weigh about, the whole thing only weighs about two ounces. Next is a uh, rather inexpensive balaclava that I got on Amazon keep my I can't sleep with my head covered by the quilt or a sleeping bag so I need a hoodie a, a hood of some kind with a gaiter so that's going to keep my head warm on those cold uh, nights uh, next to that is a pair of Injinji socks and darn tough socks that's going to be my spare hiking socks if uh, my uh, hiking socks have any issues or get too grody to to hike in for some reason. Next is a base layer from uh, 32 degree heat and sleeps uh, my base layer socks is another pair of darn tough over the calf mountaineering socks. 
Next is my uh, Sea to Summit uh, down pillow. And uh, that wraps it up for my sleep system. So uh, layering as necessary for depending on how cold it is. Okay, up next is my uh, hiking clothes. Uh, again, layering system. So I may or may not be wearing different layers of this as I hike. First up is the, uh, is the bottoms, which is another pair of 32 heat uh, uh, long johns or whatever. And uh, over top of that, we'll go a pair of Patagonia Terrabone jogging pants. I also have for base is the uh, outdoor research hoodie. And if I need more warmth, I'll go to the to the smart wool mid weight merino wool quarter zip. Next uh, right here is uh, the undies, another pair of Ingenji socks, and over the calf mountaineering socks from Darn Tough. Uh, my shoes are going to be Merrill Trail Glove 4 uh, Trail Runners. And there's a set of Dirty Girl Gators. And for the head is a uh, buff, a merino wool buff, which I will switch out for a lighter weight one when I uh, probably get out of the Smokies and it's warmed up some. Okay, this is the Z-Pax multi-pack that attaches to my backpack and rides on the front. Uh, I just like a fanny pack, but it has four attachments, six attachments that you can, uh, you can hook it up to. Uh, the one bag on the left there is some electronics and chapstick and a few other things that I can use during the day, listening uh, to uh, uh, podcasts or music or whatever. Uh, my my cell phone will also go in the pack, and next to that is snacks and and stuff for the day. Uh, so every day I'll pack up what I'm going to eat during the hike, uh, and uh, then when I get to camp at night, of course I'll be unloading the pack and and digging out my uh, food bag. All right, this is the uh, tent I mentioned earlier. Uh, the uh, Z Packs duplex tent. It's a two person tent, it uses trekking poles so you don't have to carry extra poles for it. It's super lightweight. All right, now, what we have is uh, my cook system and my food bag. Uh, I made a change last week on that also. Uh, this right here is the uh, rock sack and the line for the uh, Z-Packs food bag that you do a bear hang with. I decided that uh, instead of spending 15 to 20 minutes and sometimes without success trying to find a place to ha hang your bear bag, I'm going with the Ursac, uh, which is a bear proof bag. And uh, you don't have to hang it. You can uh, just tie it to a tree and it supposedly is impervious to bears. So we'll see. And here is my food pack out for the uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's probably way more than I'm going to need for the first uh, four or five days uh, because uh, hiker hunger will probably not kick in for a week or two. Next to this is my uh, cook kit. Uh, it's the MSR or uh, stove with the... Uh, cook pot and the canister and my little mini Bic lighter. All right, uh, real quick here, this is my hygiene kit and uh, toiletries and this is my uh, electronics uh, with uh, my, my uh, headlamp and charging cables and uh, charging brick. Okay, right here is my water uh, drinking system, uh, Sawyer Squeeze uh, with the CNOC dirty bag and a couple of uh, with a spare O-ring because people tend to lose those 
uh, an adapter uh, to go on for back flushing and two little bottles of Aquamira in case uh, something happens to my squeeze then I can treat water with the chemical. Next to that is a Ziploc with the toilet paper and my uh, trowel, so my poop bag basically. Water storage, I've got a one liter smart water bottle and a 700 milliliter uh, life water bottle. Rain gear, okay. These are a couple of rain mitts that uh, Diane made with some uh, Dyneema material. Next to that is the Outdoor Research Helium 2 hoodie, uh, rain jacket rather, and pants. Uh, a pair of just general purpose lightweight hiking gloves. Uh, and a pair of supposedly waterproof uh, gloves. Now everybody tells me and everybody says that uh, you're gonna get wet anyway. So uh, you have to embrace the, uh, the fact that you're gonna be wet. But I'm gonna try to mitigate it as much as okay, possible. Okay, had another last minute change yesterday while at the, uh, at the kickoff. Uh, Goose feet, who I have the uh, the booties for sleeping in, uh, make custom makes puffies. So they had a couple there, and I was able to pick this one up for rather inexpensive, and it's going to replace my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer, which uh, is an awesome jacket. But this one weighs about the same. It's a 950 fill, four ounces. And uh, it is so much warmer than the uh, Mountain Hardware. So I'm going to go with this. And this will be kept in my pack and uh, in the uh, compactor bag with my sleep clothes. And this will only be used for hiking if it is, is so terribly cold that I need it. Otherwise, I uh, will sleep in it if, uh, if necessary. And I have a feeling that I could probably send home some of the layers, uh, a couple of the, the layers I sleep with uh, just for this. But I'm going to stick with everything I got with, and with this for now. All right, this is... Uh my sit pad for eating lunch on or just keeping my butt off the ground and it's amazing I paid I think like a dollar ninety eight on Amazon and you sit on it it is warm believe it or not it, and it's comfortable okay this is uh, all set up everything packed out at about 28 pounds approximately you would think they would include so there I am in my glory. Okay, like I said when I started this thing, if you made it to the end here, please put the cocktail down and go get some therapy because you, uh, you have issues. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate if you did make it this far. Hopefully I'll get better. Uh, if I don't, then I'll have to give that part up. I ain't going to give up on the hike. At least I'm not planning to, but I could have to give up on this if I, if I stay horrible. So anyway, appreciate everybody that is there uh, watching this.